Yes now people, it's Charlie, it's Chatting Leads and welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing well today once again. So then guys, today's video is just going to be the first instalment of something that I am going to be doing on a regular basis from now often called Bite Size Leads and it's just going to be me discussing the latest goings on in the world of the Mighty Leeds United. So if you do enjoy it guys, smash the like, please subscribe and let's get into it. So then guys, let's start off with Diego Llorente. So Llorente, along with a few um, Spanish players in their squad, has tested positive for COVID-19. Um, so his place in the Spain squad is now in a slight bit of doubt. Um, I don't think they've completely ruled him out of the whole tournament. Um, I think he's going to miss the first game at least. Um, but as a result of this, Spain have had to call up um, a few like, backup players just in case, obviously, these players that do have COVID. I think Busquets from Barca has got it as well. Um, so in case these players are ruled out of the tournament, then they can kind of step in. Rodrigo is one of those players. Um, and I think Kepa from Chelsea is as well. Um, so it is gutting for Llorente, you know, a really good end to the season, really good second half of the season with Leeds United. Um I feel he would have been a very important and integral part of their defence moving forward in the Euros. Um, hopefully, he can make it because, um, as I say, I feel like he can play a vital role in their back four or at the back for them. Um, so, yeah, um, there's no, as I said, no real confirmation on if he's going to be out of the whole tournament. Um, but I'm sure, you know, if you're active on Twitter, Instagram and social media i'm sure that will come out over the next few days so keep an eye out on the progress of that on to the next bit of news then guys that we've found out today and that is that tyler roberts has signed a contract extension a three-year extension on his deal and is now going to be a league united player until at least the summer of 2024 um really happy for him actually um i will admit i have been one of those fans that has heavily criticised him in the past, especially like the beginning of this season and last season in the Championship. Um, there has been points where I've just felt he's not quite good enough, even for a place on our bench at times. That's how lowly like, I've, I've rated him at various points. But I feel like... Kind of like Llorente, obviously, the, the second half of the season when he's been in the team more and he's, he has put together quite a lot of good performances, which I think does warrant him a new deal. Um, I'll be honest, I still don't think he should be a starter next season and moving forward, but I feel like he can be a really good squad player and can maybe have an impact from the bench and in cup competitions. Um like I say, I I am saying that he won't ever start a game again for Leeds, but if we are going to try and push on next season, try and get Europa League, Europa Conference, is Tyler Roberts a starter? For me, no. But I still think he deserves this new deal, given the performances that he did put together in the second half of this season just finished. Um, and like I say, I feel like he can still play a key role in our squad, but... I think it's going to be from the bench rather than him starting. On to another um, interesting thing that I've seen on social media over the last few days, guys. And obviously, we all know that we have been linked with Pereira from West Brom. Um, but according to some news outlets on social media, the agent of Pereira has actually made contact with Leeds about a potential move this summer. Um, how true that is, I'm... I'm not sure, if I'm honest with you. But I just thought I'd touch on, um, on it just because I feel like that would be an amazing signing and I, for one, would love to see him in a lead shirt next season. It goes without saying that he is a waste in that West Brom team because the rest of them are utter gash. Um, he's the only player for them this season that looks like a Premier League player. Um, and for me, he definitely will move to a Premier League club. Whether that's Leeds or someone else remains to be seen. But I feel like Orta and Bielsa, Rads and everyone, I feel like they will have their eye on him. And I'm sure that we will make contact with his 
agent with his people um about a deal um i feel like they valued him at about 15 mil which is an absolute steal like if we could get him for 15 mil that would just be another great bargain to add to the list you know we signed Irente for 18 mil last summer cock for 13 rafinha for was it 17 18 we seem to be finding these really good deals of late and hopefully this one can be one to add to it um if these stories are true then there is a statement of intent there from him that he wants to come to leeds which is amazing um and hopefully it is true but again i i would just keep your eyes peeled on that and just see how that progresses because that could turn into a very good deal for leeds and finally guys the last bit of oh, blah, 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 blah. And finally, guys, the last bit of news that I'd just like to touch on just very briefly is a player called Mateus Kuna, um, a player that has been linked with Leeds um, of late. Um, Leeds fans on Twitter, on Instagram and ev everywhere you know, on, on social media are getting very excited after he liked a fan's comment on Instagram um, who commented something about a move to Leeds, um, which has got a lot of Leeds fans excited. Um, now, yeah this this could be genuine and he may be in talks over a, a move to leeds but i think we all know too well with regards to a certain rodrigo de paul um that sometimes players tease and they do things like this in order to get fans excited but then it never actually comes off so for me personally until i see him at ellen road holding up that lead shirt I'm not going to read too much into that. Um, I think it's just um, a good bit of fun, a good bit of banter. Um, you know, hopefully we sign him. He does look like a really top player. Um, like Pereira that I just touched upon from West Brom, um, there'd be two really class signings. But in terms of him liking that comment, I think he's just trying to have a laugh with us there. So um, don't read too much into that. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. If you've enjoyed this, smash that like button. Please subscribe as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.